When I was a kid, I bought this pair of aviator sunglasses. I thought they were neat because they folded up at the bridge in the arms and fit into this black vinyl carrying case, but I was probably most impressed that they both said Ferrari on them. I bought them off this older kid in the schoolyard, and his sales pitch went something like this. Yeah, these things are worth like 200 bucks. And I said, really? Wow. And he said, yeah, these are like genuine Ferrari sunglasses. They fold up with um, special Italian folding technology. And I said, that's got to be the coolest thing I've ever seen in my life. And he said, I'm selling these if you want to buy them. And I said, how much you want for them? And he said, 10 bucks. Gee, I don't know. That's a lot. He took the glasses back and he said, are you kidding? That's like a um, $190 discount, man. It's up to you, but you'll never see another pair at this price. That night, I lay awake thinking about it, wondering if I could pass up this deal of a lifetime. The next day, I counted my money, got to the schoolyard early, and bought the sunglasses. The boys' washroom was empty when I looked in the mirror and tried them on for the first time. I pretended I was Magnum P.I. For the rest of the morning, I wore the sunglasses in the corridors as I went from class to class. I did notice that people were looking at me differently. I assumed it was because the sunglasses had magically transformed me into a cooler human being, but then this kid I knew pulled me aside and said, Um, how much did you pay for these things? And I said, Only ten bucks. And he said, You do know that you got ripped off, don't you? These aren't real Ferrari, they're cheapo knockoffs. And I said, No, they're not cheap. They say Ferrari on them, and they wouldn't say Ferrari if they weren't good, and they can fold up and fit in the carrying case, and the case says Ferrari too, so they both say Ferrari, and that means they're good. And he said, Lev? Yeah. You really got ripped off, man. I was surprised that he would say that, but it didn't bother me at all. I just totally didn't believe him. However, as the day progressed, I noticed that the looks I was getting in the hallway were starting to change. I began to get the feeling that I wasn't the kid whose sunglasses changed his personality. I was the kid who was so dumb he actually thought he bought authentic Ferrari sunglasses for ten bucks in the schoolyard. That night, I lay awake again. I wondered, was it true? Had I actually been fooled? Had I really been cheated on the deal? I really didn't know at that point, but I did notice one thing. When I thought they might be phonies, I felt like a totally gullible idiot who had been ripped off. On the other hand, when I believed the glasses were authentic, I felt like I had gotten a great bargain and everyone else was stupid because they did not recognize the quality of a fine pair of Ferrari sunglasses like I did. The latter certainly made me feel better, so I decided the glasses were real, and I went to sleep. The next day at school, I realized I had gained a couple of new nicknames. One group of kids called me the Sunglass Dumbass, and then another group of kids called me Phony Baloney Ferrarioni. I was still trying to convince people that they were real, because by now my whole worldview and self-image depended on it, but then in math class, this kid said, Nice sunglasses. And I said, Thanks. And he said, I heard you only paid ten bucks for them. And I said, Oh yeah, that's right. And he said, I'll sell you my pencil for twenty-five. It's a genuine artifact from the Ming Dynasty. A real bargain. On my way home that day, I passed by a jewelry cart at a market. In these little cellophane bags, they were selling the exact same folding Ferrari sunglasses for $3. There was a sticker on there that said, Made in China. I looked at mine more carefully and noticed that they were made in China, too. I briefly entertained the thought that maybe mine were made at the better Ferrari sunglasses factory in China, but it didn't work. As I walked home, I was a little disillusioned. I wanted to believe that I hadn't been fooled so badly, I just started looking for someone to get mad at. I was angry at the guy who sold them to me because he did not help convince people that they were authentic Ferrari sunglasses. And I was angry at the kids who made fun of me because they did not accept that they were authentic Ferrari sunglasses. And I was even angry at my school and my teachers for not providing classes about how to authenticate genuine Ferrari sunglasses. I didn't know what to think, I didn't know how to feel, and I didn't know who to blame, but I did know that I had had enough. Without even admitting to myself that I had been cheated, I went home, threw them in a drawer, and I never wore them again. Tales of Mere Existence is made possible by viewers like you. Help me make more of these by kicking in a buck or two at my Patreon page here. Thank you, and share and enjoy.